everyone. Welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson. I'm glad you're joining me. I hope you're having a good day today. I wanted to go over kind of a part two in a sense, but follow up to I did your basic pantry ideas the other day. And if you didn't catch that, I'll leave a link in the description below for that. And we went over some basic things just to have in your pantry, flour and oil, things like that, and some sugar. You can go back and check it out. I've had several, several, many, many, many people say to me, I either have never had a stockpile or like an extra pantry. How do I get started? What, what foods do I put in it? I've had some emails along that line. And, you know, for me, that is just something like a basic thing. I was raised in that. I just just kind of by osmosis, I would say, learned how to do those things. Not everybody had that experience. And even if you did, if years and years have gone by and you just never took the time to either absorb and learn what you were taught when you were being raised, you know, it doesn't matter if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s or above, you just might not know those basic things to have. And if you've not done it and you've lived... You know, I know people that shop every three or four days, get a few days worth of food, they cook it up and that's it. And if you're a family of one or two, that can be a very common way of cooking. Go to the store on a Sunday night, get a few things midweek, you go back, oh, that gets me through the weekend. By Sunday, I'll be back at the store. If that's the way you want to do it, that's absolutely fine. But I would try and encourage you to have maybe not only this week's worth of food, but maybe next week's worth of food. And I know a lot of you are gonna jump on here and say, you should be saying more. Not everybody is financially where they can do that. Not everybody has the time, the space, or they just don't really care to do more than that. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. You have to do what's best for your family. If you're a family of one, you don't need maybe as much as a family of five, six, seven, or eight in the home would need, you would have to decide what you feel comfortable with. I definitely want to know I have at least a month's worth, worth of food. I have more than that. But I have at least one to three months that if I could not get out of the house, I might not have fresh fruits and vegetables for the whole three months. I would have it for the first couple of weeks and then after that it would be eating canned vegetables canned fruit, things like that. But meat I have, I have flour that I can make some bread and things like that. But I could get by for three months if I had to. So I would highly recommend if you don't have any kind of an extended pantry, try and allow yourself to have at least two weeks worth to a month would be like really good. Things like oatmeal. So oatmeal, grits, cream of wheat, anything like that, I would highly recommend. Not everybody likes oatmeal, so I'm not going to say oatmeal is the go-to. Probably oatmeal is one of the cheapest. You can get it cheap. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. You can get it. They do have smaller containers at Dollar General for just a dollar. Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five. Most of the stores around me, the grocery stores, it's about two fifty for a container. But you could make oat milk out of this if you wanted to. You can make oatmeal cookies. You can make oatmeal muffins. You can make plain everyday oatmeal baked oatmeal. You can do lots of things with oatmeal. It's a hearty thing. It's going to stick to your ribs. It's going to fill the belly. One of the other things I would recommend is you get shelf stable milk. Whether you use evaporated milk, that's another option, or powdered milk, that's also another option, or you get containers like this. These are five to seven dollars on Amazon for one container. They are $1.25 at the dollar Another thing I would recommend is getting some kind of beans. Now you can go with the canned beans, you can go with dried beans, you can go with both. I would recommend both if you some could. Cans of beans would be very helpful. They're quick, they're easy. You can grab them and use them immediately. Where if you were to get dried beans, you'd have to soak them or use an Instapot or cook them for quite a while before they're ready to use. They're both good to have. I would highly recommend both. I would definitely recommend some canned fruit. You can't always get good fruit in season. I mean, we can go and get fruit in the middle of the winter, but you know, sometimes it's not really ripe and you're paying a lot of money for fruit because it's fresh, but it doesn't taste good. You could eat watermelon and you're like, there's no taste to it. So 
get when you can get fruit in season, like get the apples in the fall, load up on those, things like that. But always keep some canned fruit handy. You can make jams and jelly out of this. You can make nice biscuits and um, fruit breads out of this. You can just eat it, you know, as a side dish to a meal. You can use it in, if you're making like a ham and you want to use the pineapples on that, so on and so forth. You know what you can do. Definitely, I would recommend peanut butter or an almond butter. You might have dietary restrictions, so peanut butter might not be the thing that you can use, but some type of a nut butter would be good because you have protein in it. You can always make a peanut butter sandwich. Worst comes to worst. That's a good thing to have. I would definitely also recommend some spices. So this is a good spice here. Um, you know, I have minced onion. I prefer this over cooked regular raw onions that you would cook up, personal preference. I go through probably one of these in a year for our family. So I like to get this and stock up on this. And um, yeah, I think this is a great thing. Any kind of spices. You want to make sure your food is flavorful, especially if you're eating foods that are um, plain and simple because you don't have a lot of money and you can't afford to do a whole lot of fan. You know what? Just add a few spices and you're in good shape. Also things like this where you can save a nice jar. And if you bought multiple spices, this and you know, all kinds of, you can make your own Italian seasoning. You can make your own taco mix. You can make your own things. Also soups like a chunky style soup. This is something that's great. You can eat it out of the can, but it is a meal in a can. You have a gravy, you have a potato, you have vegetables, you have your meat, depending on the kind that you like. You can get a chicken, a beef, whatever the case might be. You can eat it plain like this. You could pour this just even over bread. If you want to bulk it up, put it over rice, put it over pasta. So a meal in a can and or a soup would be a good thing. And then I also recommend meals in a can. So a stew like this, or you can get spaghetti and meatballs in a can, or raviolis in a can, even SpaghettiOs. Something that you know that if you just don't have a lot of other things and you need to kind of fall back on something, you can do something like this. Now you could doctor this up if you have some frozen peas or green beans or corn, you could add that to it. You can make biscuits to this. Um, they put it on the back here and they have beef stew over noodles and they show you a picture there, right there. So think through those types of things that you can do. I did have to laugh. I talked on my, I think it was my last video about using the store apps. And I just wanted to jump on here real quick and say many of you gave me a chuckle. I have had people say, I have a smartphone. I don't have a clue how to use it. I've had other people tell me they don't have a smartphone. They don't understand technology. And I just had to laugh because I was probably one of those people that would have leaned in that direction. But my, <coughs> my oldest son encouraged his parents, you got to get a smartphone and you have to learn these things. And I'm so grateful that he did because these apps are really, really helping. So those apps and all those other kind of things, but not to worry, there are other ways you can do it. My mom isn't into smartphone, but she has an iPad. So she uses that for her emailing and Facebook, and she can also use it for the apps if she wants to. She takes it over to Michael's and she has her coupon. So um, just wanna encourage you on that, that you know, if it comes down to just cutting coupons and that's how you can save money, you do whatever you can to put a few pennies back in your own pocket. One other thing, I had read um, snippets of this card, and I'm not going to read the card again, but I just wanted to reiterate the importance of encouraging one another and also the importance of having a pantry, a full pantry, a stockpile, having these extra things. I had done a video, it's probably a year ago, about how to start a stockpile on $5.00. You can start a stockpile on $1. I'm going to leave it there. Lisa, I just wanted to thank you again because your card has meant so much to me. Lisa sent me a beautiful card. I'm going to read the outside of the card because somebody out there I know needs to hear this tonight. This is from 2 Corinthians 1.7. God will tenderly comfort you. He will give you the strength to endure. I don't know what you're all going through, but that verse just kind of hit home with me today. I had one of those days nothing was wrong, nothing went wrong. 
I just had a day. I emotionally was very fragile. I was just a nervous wreck all day. Just, uh, it was a day. It was a day. And I came home again and read this verse. God will tenderly comfort you and he will give you the strength to endure. Second Corinthians 1, 7. What Lisa had done is she sent me a beautiful card and there was a beautiful message inside from her to me personally. And she just wanted to encourage me and thank me for encouraging her and others. And she sent me a $5 bill of a reminder of how you can start a stockpile on $5. I have put this in a frame and it is by my pantry. And when I say that you wanna be able to create a full pantry, this completes my pantry. This right here meant the world to me that somebody took the time to write me a card and thank me for something that I said that encouraged them to want to do something and make a change in their life. I want to encourage you, if you don't have a pantry, you don't have a stockpile, you don't have a full pantry, you want to be able to open, whether you open the doors, mine doesn't open, mine's there, you'll see it. But whether you open the doors, kind of just imagine opening the doors and you need to create a meal for yourself and or your family, and you have lots of things to choose from. I have a little flour, I have some oatmeal, I have beans, I have rice, I have whatever, whatever your family eats, that you have those things on hand. Lisa, thank you again. I just wanted to show everyone one more time, just a great, great sediment from one of the viewers. And I wanna thank you again, let you know that it is framed and it's still in my stockpile. And I absolutely love it. I love the sediment and I absolutely love the Bible verse. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment and I cannot wait to chat with you on the next video.